I'm Janet with Best Behaved Dogs in Alexandria, Virginia, and this is one of the series of videos I'm making with some fun indoor training games you can play with your dog. So I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to touch your hand with their nose on command. Uh, what you need are, if your dog is food motivated, treats. If they're not food motivated, then another reward like a ball or uh, a toy that they like or just praise. And then, of course, your dog, this is Che, he's eight months old, he's a standard Cholo, uh, and your dog does need to understand a word that means, that's what I want, now you're going to get a treat. Uh, those of us who train dogs call the marker word. If you remember your Psych 101 from college, technically it's the conditioned reinforcer. Che's word is yes. And then, of course, you want to think about what you want the word of, uh, for your dog's command to be. So uh, initially you're going to start with treats in both hands. You're gonna have all of your treats in one hand, but one treat in the hand that your dog is gonna touch. Uh, and if your dog already knows a word for shake hands like paw or give me five or something, it may be confusing if you're using your hand for touch and then if you also tell them like paw. So you could certainly do just maybe two fingers, something that's obviously differently different to them. Uh, so initially have your treats all in one hand and then the one treat in the hand your dog is going to be touching. Um, your dog can see the treats, you don't want them to be able to get them and don't be ostentatious about the treats, they're just there. And then with your other hand, say touch and then you just wait. Yes! And as soon as your dog touches, you give them the word and then of course open your hand for the treat. Che touch, yes. Che is somewhat familiar with this. Che touch, yes. Uh, a newer, more beginner dog would have spent a lot more time poking at the hand with the treats. Che touch, yes. Once your dog is successfully leaving the treats in your hand alone to go for the other hand, then you want to have no treat in your hand. Che touch, yes. And you give the treat out of your other hand. So what your dog is learning is even though you have treats in this hand, they have to leave the treats to go touch this hand, which is helpful for a lot of other behaviors that you'll see me working on, um, shaping a harness or 101 things to do with the box or retrieving. Che touch, yes, good boy. Touch, yes, good boy. And you can also switch hands, make it more interesting. Che touch. confused. Yes, good boy, but he worked it out and the key to this is not repeating. Che touch. Yes, because when we repeat we start to sound really stressed and dogs generally don't want to be with people who are stressed. Che touch. Yes, good boy. Touch. Yes, good boy. So once your dog understands how to do touch, then you can start adding in, having them do two or three or more touches and having them do up high where they have to hop or down low. Um, so I hope you've been having fun with your dog learning a new skill at home and I will make another video with Che uh, showing you his progress.